Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking. Before we get into today's video, I wanna give a massive thanks to some people who helped make all of this happen. The first one being SDI or Sonoran Desert Institute. SDI is your go-to place to learn anything or get certified for any subject pertaining to firearms, including but not limited to ballistics, shooting sports management, gun repair, gunsmithing, and many others. They also have several different funding options so they can really cater to exactly what you need. So that's sdi.edu. I'll put a link in the description. Second, I also wanna give a big thanks to ETS or Elite Tactical Systems. In fact, off camera we were using their speed loaders which is perfect because the gun for today's subject matter uses AR magazines. I've talked about their speed loaders quite a bit but to show you guys again if you have box ammunition it makes it really easy to just grab some rounds get their little proprietary plunger system here watch how easy it is to speed load magazines they have it for pistols as well they also make their own translucent magazines it's pretty darn cool that's ets or elite tactical systems lastly i want to give a big thanks to all of my patreons i'll go ahead and shout all of them out right now you guys are freaking amazing that all out of the way let's go ahead and get on to today's video Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking and uh, earlier this month I uploaded a video with the title Sniper Challenge 1 MOA at 1 Mile and I think Sniper Challenge should be a, a playlist and a video series. So Sniper Challenge and then a specific challenge. So we're going to do a little bit of a challenge that uh, I and the guys at Arkin have thought up and I could very easily have a very stressful and long day today but we're going to try to make it fun. All right. So I got a table full of these EP4 series of Arkin optics. The latest optic isn't the EP4, it's this SH4 Gen 2. We're not destroying any of those. I love this optic, I've featured them in a few videos. And I'll talk about that a little bit more since we are going to be using it on the setup. Talk about that when I talk about the setup. But these EP4s have been out for some time and they sent me, let's see here, two, four, six of them. Uh, five of them are the six to 24s, one's a four to 16. And for one reason or another, they just shouldn't be on this street. So they might've been a warranty item. So don't feel bad. These are their older scopes. They, for one reason or another, like I said, it could be a warranty thing. They didn't pass QC, I don't know. But uh, they have a good warranty, so they probably just replaced them for my guess anyway. The challenge though is shooting through optics. We even heard about the tale of uh, Carlos Halfcock in Vietnam shooting through the enemy optic and killing the, uh, the opposing sniper. So it'd be interesting to set this up at some ranges and see how far I can shoot right through the front objective lens all the way through the uh, diopter. This is a Black Creek Labs MRX Bison. It is a bolt action chambered in 5.56 and I've got the Arkin Optic uh, SH4 Gen 2 4 to 16 by 50. In short for $399 uh, for the 4 to 16 by 50 with a 34 millimeter main tube, first focal plane, illumination, the lifetime warranty. Zero stop, zero reset, good tactility. I really, really like these optics. I made a video titled the best long range optic for under 500 bucks. And it's still, I still stand by that. So we're gonna put the uh, four to 16 on this right here. So it's a cool little setup. Yeah, I will say we did sight this in really quickly. I'm gonna dial it in a little bit further. I was shooting some 77 grain Black Hills open tip match, which should just shoot lights out. Black Creek Lab says with this one right here, the 5.56 with a 16 and a half inch barrel, uh, should be shooting 1.5 MOA. I thought that was a little big. I thought it could do better if I put some good ammo through it. I wasn't totally happy with my initial group. So let's go ahead and do five round group with that. Five round group with some IMI 77 grain and five round with some 75 grain uh, Bota Hall Point Hornady and see if we could group it really nice and tight. So we'll do that very quickly. We'll get on with the challenge. But as far as the gun itself, it feels great. Action's awesome. We got a trigger tech trigger from the factory. It's a cool setup. Let's just see if I can get it to shoot really nicely. Let's do that real quickly. I said five, but I changed up. Let's just do three of each just to get an idea. We're gonna start with Black Hills, top left of the target, three shots. I'm gonna give it its best opportunity and hand feed it too, just in case it warps the round at all. All right, now for some Hornady Black, 75 grain, Botel Hall Point, two, two, three. All right, let's go down range and see what we're working with. We did three of each and we'll just see what kind of accuracy we're dealing with. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna have a pretty tough day. I'm committing to it. We got enough ammo, we got the gun. So whatever, we're gonna do the, uh, the scope challenge. But oh my goodness. All right, so first we were here with the Black Hills ammo. I felt really, really good about my shots. Um, and we got two here one way out left i mean that's a good two and a half moa here the point of impact changed on the imi stuff to where it was pretty low i mean you got one two and then it got mixed in with this grouping so i don't know which one that is that's absurd 
And then I went for the chest here with the Hornady stuff. And we got one, two, three. That's a good one, two, three and a quarter, maybe. MOA. I don't know what's going on, but you know what? Let's just start off. We're going to go ahead and place an optic at 100 yards right here. See if we can shoot right down the objective lens. And if we can, we're just going to keep on backing it up with the optics we have. I think those optics got lucky, though. All right. Let's see if first shot placement on the optic could get me onto, in a better mood here. I might be fixing to have a long day. Ha uh, ha It does seem like I'm looking through an enemy scope. Let's uh, let's get it. Well, the scope went flying, so I thought I saw a little bit of puff of glass, maybe. All right, let's see if 100 yards got us right in the uh, lens. Whoa. Okay. Must be a hit, but where did the bullet come out? Because it didn't go all the way through. Okay. All right, well, at least we got a first round hit at 100. I was expecting that, but after those groupings, I started getting a little pessimistic, but looks like some of it escaped on the bottom here. Oh, that's an interesting look. Yeah, I'll have to get some uh, something on my phone to show you guys what this thing looks like. You can still see the reticle, but honestly, it looks like art. Very pretty. Let's see what that zoom does. <laughs> That first focal plane, the reticle's still on the plane. All right, that's our shooting bench down there. We're looking at the 200 yard scope. Let's see if we could get this down the, uh, the objective lens as well. Light primer strike. Maybe I was holding too much. I saw a nice puff there, so let's go check it out. Oh, look at this. That's interesting to see. A little poke right on there. Oh, and right here. Nice little bulge, if you will. All right, 300 yards. Just low left, I think, right? Yes. Hi. Is low left. This thing does not repeat, man. My gosh. All right. If I hit it at this point, it's just luck. This thing is just not holding together. Yeah. Okay. Just since I'm here, I'm going to reposition at 100 yards. Now that the barrel's got some rounds through it, maybe let it cool off a little bit. And I'm just going to put like 10 shots as best as I can on one target at 100 yards, just to see how it groups, because so far it's otherworldly inaccurate. All right, come on and look at this. So I said I was gonna do like 10. I actually just did what was left of the box. And how telling was this? There's 13 rounds left, which kind of explains the luck I'm having with this gun. Um, so if you want to come in here, let's count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's a uh, two in there, okay. So. That diagram right there, hopefully if you look at it in the light, shows, gosh, man, we're dealing with like a four, four and a half MOA gun. It's a bolt action 223 shooting Black Hill 77 grain open tip match. I tried the other stuff too, high end stuff, and we're getting that. Uh, this was a challenge I look forward to doing, but when you're equipped with that, for whatever reason, uh, I hate doing negative videos. I'm not a review channel, I like to have fun do these challenges, but I gotta show you guys real quickly. My current experience with that rifle is showing a pretty wide spread. Uh, I'll get a hold of them. I'm sure they'll see this as well. And so hopefully we could come with some resolution. When I get home, that optics coming off and I'm gonna put a little micro red dot on that thing and have a little close range fun. But for long range, uh, that's what I was equipped with and that's my luck. Well, today's video didn't quite go to plan, but at least here's a little tease into a video coming very, very soon. X95 Tavor suppressed. I got my little pyramid of uh, scopes that need to meet their demise. So here we go. It's supposed to be a fun little sniper challenge. I'll probably keep the series going, but I'm gonna make sure I'm shooting with tack drivers. First time shooting with that gun. 
you know, sometimes just things just don't go to plan, but that's okay because that means I bust out the X95 to bore. This will be a future video, maybe the next one, maybe the one after that, I don't know. But in any case, I want to thank Arkin Optics for sending me some of the duds that they were destined to get thrown away and they figured out to make a little bit of content with it. I appreciate it. This isn't any foul thing on Arkin Optics. I obviously love them. I uh, featured them on today's gun. I got a review coming next month with a cool 6.5 Creedmoor AR-10. Little tease real quickly. That's got a SH-4 uh, Gen 2. I do like Arcan Optics. They just happen to have some that were destined to get thrown away because of some kind of warranty or QC thing. So not a knock on them. All right, before we close out the video, actually I wanted to update you guys on a totally different day. So uh, last time I've shot this thing was what you guys saw, not the best impressions. When I'm shooting a bolt action, 5.56, I'm putting some really nice heavy bullets in there and expecting better results, not too great. So I figured uh, I owed it to you guys to kind of give you guys an update and we're about to find out uh, how it does as this update. So I messaged uh, Black Creek Labs on Instagram. Like I just want to let you guys know that it didn't quite perform. We're getting like five plus MOA at hundred yards. And they said, oh, we've had this happen one time before. We had to rebarrel it. We could get you, you know, just get you a second gun. And then before they even tried to send a second gun, they actually reached back out saying, hey, we actually duplicated your results when we try to shoot the same ammo, uh, the heavy stuff. Try shooting some 40 to 55 grain stuff and then it starts going into one MOA. So that still confuses me because when you're talking about a bolt action 5.56 five, or any long range kind of setup and a bolt action's in that category, you want some heavy rounds. Nonetheless, I got as light as I have. I didn't go special order 40 grain. I can't find anything anywhere. I have some 55 grain full metal jackets. So let's see if that tightens the group anymore. I got 10 rounds in this mag. So I'm going to shoot the first five slowly on steel, kind of, you know, clear out the barrel of whatever else. And uh, the last five, we're going to really take our time on 100 yards, see if we could group it any better. But um, so far, it hasn't been that fantastic, but I figured I owed it you guys to you guys a little update. So I'm curious myself. So let's go ahead and get this thing ready to go. 100 yards with some IMI. This is still healthy stuff. We did IMI uh, 77 grain stuff. This is now IMI uh, gray and green box 55 grain. So let's see what happens. 10 rounds, uh, 10 on or five on steel, five on paper. Does feed nicely, I will say that. All right, let's go ahead and put it on fire. Uh oh. I've never had light primer strikes on quality ammunition, including Black Hills or IMI. This is the third one I've had with this rifle, so I don't know if that's on the rifle or what, but it's hard to believe it's on the ammo. All right, let's go ahead and slow down a little bit. We're gonna put this on paper or on cardboard and uh, hopefully we get a nice tight grouping. It's not zeroed for this 55 grain stuff. So, you know, I'll give it a, I'll give it that. We're just going for grouping, not bullseyes. All right, looks like we're gonna maybe get a four round group. Another light primer strike. All right, maybe we could get a three round group. All right. Smells good. I know the ammo is solid. I could put this, even with a light primer strike, I could put this on another 5.56 rifle and it'll shoot. So this thing's just, at this point, causing light primer strikes. I hate being blunt about this stuff. I'm a recreational channel. I don't like doing bad reviews on anything, especially small companies like this. But, um, you know, I just tell it how it is. And I had this upload ready to go anyway. And so, uh, you know, can't be messing around and trying to find a new video just to avoid a bad review. I hate doing this, but, you know, got to tell it how it is. Hopefully I could be in contact with Black Creek Labs. We could see what the problem is and we could come to a resolution that's going to be better for everybody in the long run the end user and Black Creek Labs. But as of right now, this is gonna be a little bit of problems. But um, anyway, let's go down range and see how tight those two shots were. Oh, here we are, Never mind. I got confident, I was looking at these little things. I don't know where that came from. All right, no, we're right here. So the only two we got out of the five attempts on cardboard are still a good, just over two inches. That's what we got. So like I said, I'd like to be in contact with Black Creek Labs. They seem like a cool company, quite responsive. And hopefully we come to some resolution and hopefully we could get a tech driver at some point. But for right now, the MRX Bison M556 with light ammo, quality high, um, 
grain ammo. That's what we got. Figured I'd give you guys a quick little update. Sorry, that's the way it is. But uh, anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.